boy with a Neymar Jr. shirt on and he was laying on the ground holding his knee. Fire burning up in the sky, Belgium. No spit! I'm in. Why don't you eat Whoppers? Because I have a lasagna at home. No. You mean spaghetti flavored cake? No, I mean lasagna. Long weekend, I'm getting my everything ready and I'm plugging in my phone because it's down 2%. Got my backpack going with all my sports clothing. I got real clothing here and, and the towel I'm supposed to do and I got my gear. I should double make sure that everything's in there, including my passport. So I'm walking up to Matterport. Uh, got my bag, got my backpack, got my pads. Um, I, yeah. But I, I checked inside the, uh, just, there was people, because school's still going apparently in the Montessori College. Uh, <laughs> so, there's a bunch of kids lined up against the uh, window, probably waiting for their turn. Except, I looked inside, and there was a boy with a Neymar Jr. shirt on and he was laying on the ground holding his knee. And I was like, is he doing an impression or did he actually get hurt? Or is he learning soccer? I don't know, but it was just like, I was like, no, 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 Like that's, that's about how quick it was. And I didn't want to like look, look and stay laughing because it either would have empowered him to continue doing that um, or I was laughing at misfortune. And well, Okay, I'm still that much American. <laughs> I mean, I'm vlogging about it and laughing, so. Why is it when the air is super cold, I gotta sneeze a heck of a lot more? I mean, I'm completely, see, I'm over here at Busum Jaud. I would've showed you guys this some other time, but it was like super dark when Meg dropped me off. So, I put this to my Instagram story and Facebook story. I'm gonna walk, keep myself warm. This has gotta be the greatest graffiti I've ever seen. There's a lot of graffiti in the Netherlands, and it just, yeah, it's not like I've never sworn before. But yeah, that's uh, like that. I'm out here at Busum Shoud, waiting for Meg. I got here a smidge early, but that's fine. I'd rather be early than being that bunghole that arrives just on time. I just don't know if she wants me on this side of the station or that one down over there. So I think this side. All right. Surprise, surprise, toll road in the middle of Belgium. Just like, gates. They, they look like the gates of hell opened up. They did. Yeah. Maurice posted a picture. There's a door. Oh. There's you have to a, walk around. a fence. I don't know. It looks muddy. How is this a dude? This is not a dude ranch. Belgium, you f up. Europe screws up so much American shit. Can't do nachos, your pizza sucks. I'll see you guys at the room. Oh, you know, just. Um, see, I come from such a green area in the States. There's coal fire, coal plants? I'm sorry, who? What backwards ass craps happen here? All right, before everybody jumps in here, <laughs> first, we're first to her. I mean, more reason Rocky are already here. Recording him. My little bed. There's the double bed. There's another single bed over there. We're in trek mutts. I don't know what it means. Um, are there plugins? Because I brought a plug-in from... Yay! Oh, there's ones by all the beds. Okay. Yeah, so what have we got here real quick? Sauna? Sink? Television? Couch? Pool table. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go socialize. Because you get to see everything. And this is the second floor. Um, <coughs> fart, fart. We <laughs> got before everybody gets in here. Oh, it's the bathroom. This is another room with 
and upstairs aloft. Is this the sauna? No, that's the shower. Oh, that's the sauna. What? Okie dokie. I'm gonna get my phone on the Wi-Fi and check out what's going on. <laughs> Maybe get a beer, get some snacky food, or something. This is definitely a dude ranch. They're like, trying to use... I don't know. We just had the rule meeting. Over some rule changes that are kind of pointless. There was a kickoff rule change about fair catches, but it's like nobody in this league kicks that far, so not a big deal. Um, but yeah, it's 10:30. I'm just gonna head up and head to bed here in a sec. Remember that I gotta be quieter with this game because I've turned the game back on. <laughs> from last night. Beer, 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 beer. Apparently pulled out trains. Beer. We'll get more what's going on. But we are in the middle of nowhere. I've made somewhat coffee, but Nick's cooking eggs downstairs, so I've retired up here. And hopefully it's not gonna hit me too terribly much. I have to go like number two, and I don't want to do it in the bedroom because it might be pretty stanky. But we had pasta last night with that little bit of cheese that was on there. It could be nice and wrecky, but we have morning breakfast at eight o'clock. What's happening right now? So yeah. Well, this is what everything looks like in the morning. There's your little uh, murder shed. Um, dead apple orchard and horsies like honest to god this is like the first time the closest I've been to a horse in a long time Meg's feeding horses actually I don't know if they're horses they're horses You're, okay I don't know my breeds very well I was raised a boy <laughs> I wasn't obsessed with ponies certainly glad they did not find that trampoline last night we would uh, we we would be down a couple guys. But yeah, yeah, all those cars are gone from last night, so I'm not necessarily sure what was going on in this other building. All right, after a 35-minute drive, oh, Antwerp Argonauts. Interesting. This. This might be worse than Longview. I may have uh, twisted my ankle a little bit, but you know, then again, looks like cows may have graced on that field a little bit. But I'm definitely walking slow and putting a lot of my neck hurts because there's no pillow basically. It's just 
my anxiety is running out of control and I'm about ready to break down any moment and I don't know when to do it and what's what's safe time and all that jazz. We have another practice later. Oh, I came back to the ranch and we ate food. I almost passed out at the table. I think I did actually. Um, apparently someone was having a conversation with me and I didn't realize it. Now my neck is all sore and locked up and my ankle feels better, but I just, I have to, I have to be good for the next three hours. I, I have to be. All right, I've got, uh, got a, my left shoulder this time. So because of Aaron and I, we sleep with our backs to each other because we don't like to breathe in each other's face. So since I'm on the left side of the bed, I sleep on my left side and face away. This is beneficial because this shoulder doesn't like to be laid on too much recently. Um, so, but I chose the bed and I think tomorrow night I'll flip the pillow to the other end so that I'm facing not the wall. <laughs> Cause I, I would be sleeping along this facing the wall cause that's the direction I face. Stupid me, yes. But this shoulder, because the pillow was insufficient all night, so yeah. So we walk through them because this is second practice. It's middle of the afternoon and whatnot. Ah, oh. oh, it's tender is the thing, and I think I don't know. I was blacking out multiple times during practice. My anxiety was high. I'm nervous about the game tomorrow and sucking, making any mistakes. We all know how this goes. Going me today? Huh? Going me today? Yeah, my slept torn on that shoulder, so like every time I raise the left shoulder, pain shoots up my neck. I don't know how, but it's really hard to find a pillow that actually has something in it. And is your pillow like super flat? It is quite flat, yeah. Yeah, so Aaron and I had to go by Ikea to get a memory foam pillow just to... <laughs> just need normal. Yeah. Just getting myself kind of undressed. I really hope that my shoulder is fine tomorrow. My ankle is fine overall. Um, my other, this shoulder is fine. It's just this left one. And I tried to do the jog to warm up afterwards and I couldn't do that. So I think like all of the things, and I really hope I didn't like tear open that shoulder. All right, guys, so this is a different kind of stamp pot with bacon, what'd you call it? Boren coal. Boren coal and mashed potatoes. Farmer's coal? Boren, yeah, that would be farmer's because German, it's Bauen. Bauer, but it looks absolutely nasty, but I took a bite of it and I'm like, I want more of this. <laughs> I'm probably going to take a whole damn plate. We've got sausages. Of sorts. They are. Oh, that's someone else's. They are. There you go, buddy. They're tasty looking. <laughs> but, oh, there's more coffee made. Where's my cup? I'm snagging this cup. No, I have a cup. There's more coffee made. You look tired. I <gasps> am. Look at all those drinks. I should probably actually have some real juice and not just beer upon beer upon beer. Oh, there's like juice? I know. A very, very tiny bit. Yeah, like apple and pear Is that just pear? Pear Pear is a peach. Peach, okay. Everybody in their weak ass coffee. Look at that. Oh, look, it actually makes me kind of. Didn't even fill the cup all the way last time. 
All right, there's dinner. There's a forest. Gross. I was turning towards your light. Okay. Yeah, now I see it. It's like a funny little... So, I remember sleeping well, apparently. There's a lot filmed on this camera that I don't remember from yesterday. The whole conversation I had with Meg last night that I don't remember. person that understands is Aaron. <laughs> Apparently I have a game today and I don't know what to do. <laughs> My shoulder hurts and I don't know why. I don't know what happened, but I can barely move it. <laughs> and it's the other shoulder, not this one. <laughs> Aside from what I recorded and what's on WhatsApp, I don't have many memories from yesterday, and I just, I don't know what to do. I'm so scared. And I don't know if this is real or my fault. I don't know. I haven't slept a weekend, apparently, and I just... <laughs> but I'm in here with the door closed. Hopefully I can avoid the egg stroll for a little while. I mean, I'll go sit in the sauna room if necessary. I'm so... I was telling Meg this morning, I'm such a special little boy. I can't do anything. I'm so different from <laughs> I thought I could move and it would be different, but it's not. I thought I could escape my problems. <laughs> All right, you recording? You're recording? Cool. So, I know a lot of the guys aren't necessarily keen on being on camera. Is there any place to set this? I'm like in a weird back area <laughs> so that's pretty much what we got going on this is a cute little building though I don't have anything to set it on so you guys can see the full picture although Jimmy took a picture so that's right here um, let's do a little I don't know how dirty I am it probably doesn't show up nearly as much I wouldn't record in the locker room, but I think the camera doesn't need that kind of stank in it. Um, I'm probably going to record here in a little bit. I kind of want to get all this stuff off because I'm gross. All right, I'm out. I got my travel clothes home. It's like two hours. Um, we're not taking... Uh, what's the young one's name? Robin. We're not taking Robin home, so... But, yeah, so... Bunch of linemen there. I remember when I'd be going to get somebody to eat, and I think Meg might swing by Mickey D's. Not sure. Is she at her car? Home girl. <laughs> uh. Yo, how many touchdowns did you get today? Touchdowns. Touchdowns. Zero. You got zero. Yeah. Despite the fact that you got what thirty yard runs. Yeah, but close all the time, and I never got one. I think I got ten catches, something like that. Well, yeah, and I mean when Bono says you're running a good game, it's like 
when our Mike linebacker's like, oh, the Frenchman's running, being a beast today. I'm like, yep, yeah, he is actually. Yeah, Meg's not here for me to put my stuff in her car. I don't know where she went though. Things are gonna start seizing up here pretty soon. Nope. This is obviously her car. That's my Starbucks cup I've never taken out. Although at the fight I'm feeling like I could do with a Met Cafe. But yeah, I found Meg. I don't know where she went. But uh, I told Jimmy to send me that picture over Instagram. So I keep reminding him though. I have until tomorrow morning. Well, at least nobody got super injured today, even though we had our medic kit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to swing by and pick up oh, something. Oh, you can float to eat. in the auto. <laughs> like a Mickey oh, I could go for a Big Mac in a cafe right now and like a large fry. <laughs> We're at a petrol station that has a Burger King attached to it. There's also a Starbucks around here somewhere, so I'm gonna get that on the way. I got mine to take away because it just seemed easier to get it in a bag. <laughs> What'd you get to eat, Yan? Just a regular cheeseburger. A regular cheeseburger? You come to Burger King for Whoppers. Okay. If you're not, I don't have a gallbladder and I still am gonna go shit my brains out when I get home. I love Whoppers so much. <laughs> Why don't you eat Whoppers? Because I had a lasagna at home. Waiting for me. You mean spaghetti flavored cake? No, I mean lasagna. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. What did he get? Lasagna is just spaghetti flavored cake. Here I have report. I had to check the stairs to make sure that I got in the right place. I thought Aaron was supposed to meet me here. Okay, I'm apparently standing right underneath him. He's like super nearby. Where is Aaron? I expected you to be here at 2044. Okay. Because it said you were standing like right on top of me. It said you were here at Mauterport. Wow. Yeah. Like, I looked around and was like, I should be standing on top of him. So I started talking really, really loud in case you were around a corner or something. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Yeah. And, you know, I made sure to echo off everything in case I you were. Hear right at the end. It sounded like you were maybe. Yeah. Um, in case, like, you were waiting on this side of kiosk for the train that goes out to Hilverson, yeah. thinking that's the train I was going to come in on from Central. So, and I know this doesn't make much sense to you, because I tell you not to worry about directions. So, one of the last things for tonight, as I'm going to show, tell him on camera. Those tracks over there yes. are beep in then stairs. Yes. Those go south. Okay. Those go from Central to Mauterport to Amstel south. These tracks go out to Vasp, which then turn in towards Almira or Hilfersum, and kind of go more east. Okay. These, I, I, if I'm coming from Hilfersum, I will never come on those tracks. Okay. Unless I tell you I'm rerouting through Utrecht, and then I will tell you otherwise. Okay. Though, like, kiosks are my, are my tracks. Okay. <laughs> I did not realize that kiosk wasn't on those. Okay. That's the, that's the thing. Um, I'm just trying to get across here. It's curb. It's uh, sprinkling a little bit. It was... It was not to me until you got here. Well, it was pouring when we crossed the border. Ah. Oh my God. Meg was like, oh, it has to rain right now. Two, like four kilometers later, nothing. <laughs> and then we stopped off at Burger King and it was like, free and clear and everybody else met us there and we talked with Marcus and Arnaldo and like <laughs> whatnot and yeah it's been a long weekend for me <laughs> I was afraid that if we got home late that it would be after Aaron had to go to bed so I'm like so when he left on his train 
Friday morning. He's like, see you on Sunday. I'm like, or Monday morning. If I would have got back, if, I, if there was no way I was going to get back later than like 11, I'd have told him, go to bed. Yeah. But when the game was done, it was only a two hour drive. It's only a two hour drive to get to Antwerp. North Antwerp, but you know. Yeah. Anyways, Antwerpen. We were like near Kent. Anyways. So yeah, I'll, I'm going to tell Aaron about a few of the things that I learned about the teammates. Nothing, nothing saucy. But I actually learned a fair bit about Robin on the way down uh, and whatnot. So I want to tell Aaron these things. I want to disclose secrets about someone's educational dreams.